Unthinkable engineering. Hound pigs are housed in skyscraper hotel. The future of livestock farming. China is going in a different direction in building out its farmland. After seeing its pork production decimated by African swine flu outbreaks in 2018 that ravaged half of the country's pig herds, China has since then been investing heavily into so-called pig hotels, where the animals will be headed not for the swimming pool, but for people's dinner plates. For the last three years, farmers across China have been investing billions of dollars into massive high-rise hog raising facilities. The trend started with two- and three-story facilities, but it quickly escalated into monolithic structures of over 10 levels, with tens of thousands of animals raised there. Six story super hotel with high technology. Located in Izhou City, the owner of this 540 million US dollars and 26 story livestock facility is Hubai Zongxin KY Modern Farming Company. The mega farm will consist of two 400,000 square meters buildings, where one of the buildings started production at the end of August 2022. 3,700 pigs are being tested in the building and the number will be increased to 20,000 by the end of 2022. When the system is fully implemented, it can produce up to 54,000 tons of pork from a herd of 600,000 a year. The central control system, located on the first floor, can control and monitor the building's water supply, electricity, air conditioning, automatic feeding machines, smart air filtration, and disinfection systems. Each floor has a nursery room, where the newborn piglet lies in a warm climate with light bulbs. In addition, a comprehensive biogas-based waste treatment system will convert pig manure into clean energy for electricity generation and heating. Indicators of temperature, environmental humidity, and toxic gas concentration are also controlled in real time. And if you thought the elevator in your office building was crowded during rush hour, the building has six elevators and each comes with a load capacity of 10 tons that accommodates 60 to 65 pigs at a time. China is now both the world's largest pork supplier and consumer, with demand expected to grow from 51.77 million tons to 60.77 million tons in the next 10 years. And super large livestock farms are almost the only solution to be able to meet this growing demand. Expert Concerns Although the idea of creating more pig hotels sounds promising, those working in the field have expressed concern. Jane Jichin, Public Affairs Director of the Agricultural Group Nouveau Group, said that while tall buildings can help reduce land-related costs, they will result in higher production costs. He also warned that with pig hotels, internal biosecurity issues would be more difficult to deal with and could bring huge losses in the event of an outbreak. But Yon Fai Go, Vice President of Yangsheng, a company that built a 12-story hog facility in Guging, said the facilities do a good job of preventing disease outbreaks. Pigs are restricted to one floor for their whole lives to avoid mixing animals, and each unit has a ventilation system. Therefore, in the event of outbreaks, it can be managed and contained. China is not the only place to implement the pig farming model on high-rise buildings. Many high-rise pig farms have been experimentally built in Europe. Although some are still in operation, many have been abandoned due to management difficulties and public opposition. The number of newly built high-rise pig farms has decreased significantly in recent times. Animal Welfare Question The skyscrapers have caused some backlash from activists, with a petition launched opposing the plans. The French campaign launched on the platform as Opinions has received over 19,000 signatures. Over on Facebook, online users said the buildings were heartbreaking and described the plans as absolutely dreadful. Welfare within that type of environment, a very intensive system, is very different to a typical outdoor production. Jeremy Marchin Ford, research animal scientist with the U.S. Department of Agriculture, told The Guardian. It may well have some advantages with regard to health, but at the end of the day, you couldn't call this high welfare. There is not a lot of room or environmental complexity here just to let pigs be pigs.